Okay, welcome to today's discussion. Today we're going to show you how to compile FreePBX for the warp. Now, this information is available in our forum at forum.picawarp.org. If you browse down to the FreePBX for pads, click on it, you will see a post here on how do I compile FreePBX images. Now the instructions here are complete. They tell you how to do it. However, recently we have added some new options to the build script. So I thought I would go over those options with you. So I'm logged into my Linux box here. Let's begin in compiling FreePBX in pads to work on the warp. So the first thing we need to do is get the source code. So SVN export HTTP colon slash slash SVN dot PikaTech dot com front slash pads slash add-ons slash trunk slash free pbx dash my sql now this will extract the source code from our repository there we go we look here and we have my free pbx my sql folder so let's go into it now if you look here you will see a script called build free pbx dutch now this is the script that automatically builds everything and gets you image files to go on your warp. If you don't need to change anything, all you need to do is run that. So let's begin. Let's fire it up. Let's build free PBX. Now, the first thing the build does is check whether you are the root user. If so, it'll continue. Now this is telling me you need PHP pair installed to build free PBX. This says mine needs to be upgraded. We can bypass this at the time, which is the default option you can see here. Let's just forget about that for now. However, I would generally recommend it. Now this first question here is, do we want to enable the warp system tools module for free PBX? Now what this is talking about, if we look on my free PBX here, under tools, is this module for the warp appliance. That gives you a network configuration page, a reboot button, and a page to configure the SSMTP mail server. So if you want this module pre-installed, select yes here. That's what I'm going to do, which yes is the default. Now, FreePBX also has a file on it that if you have an SD card installed, it will format that SD card and transfer voicemail and several other folders to that SD card. This is enabled by default and if you go back to the admin page on my free PBX, the status page I'm sorry, you will see I have an SD card in here. Even with all the files transferred to it, it's still pretty empty. I would recommend you use a SD card for voicemail and such in your free PBX on the warp. So enable this as well. That's the default. The next option here is whether you want the free PBX GUI to have the ability to change the language it displays. What this is referring to is this box over here, which is English by default. But if I change this to Italian, the page will update to display the text in Italian. Now, if you want this feature, all these languages enabled, then you should select yes. If you're in an English only environment, then you can select no and your free PBX will install faster, but not be able to display languages. So I am going to select the default here again, the yes. Now by default, logging into the free PBX GUI uses a username of asterisk and a password of AMP109. If you want your image to have your own password, this gives you the option to change it right here. So I'm just going to change it here to Pika rules. Now this will be my new password to get onto the box. I recommend you use something a little more obscure than this, but for this demonstration purpose, that's what I'm going to use. Now what is happening is FreePBX checks out the main code pads code. Now, this will go in and fire up the configuration menu. 
All you have to do here is escape and enter if you do not want to add anything. And if you do, you can go in here and select additional packages. However, at this time, I don't recommend that. Just escape, enter, save. Now, FreePBX is beginning to build. You may as well sit back and relax, go have a coffee or something. This should take about 50 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer and your download connection. Okay, so here we are at the end of our build. At the end, I output a message to tell you certain things. You'll see that it should now have a set of images that you can flash to your work appliance. It tells you exactly where you are, full path. So if we look here, we can do an ls images, and we see the image files required to flash free PBX to your warp appliance. It also gives you links to instructions on how to flash these images to your appliance. And that's basically it. You now have your own customized set of images for the warp appliance.